effects of floods in Kenya so yesterday I made a video about the causes of floods in Kenya I talked about uh, things like uh, clogging of the rivers like in the case of uh, the flooding that was witnessed yesterday at uh, Kahawaskari uh, that stretch between Kahawaskari and uh, Kenyatta University that case uh, we've had rains in the past but we've never seen uh, such a phenomenon where water is accumulated acc accumulating at that point so I want to take this discussion further and uh, show you what are the effects of uh, floods in Kenya effect number one death floods are responsible for death According to government statistics, as of yesterday or today, 2nd of May uh, 2024, a total of 179, you can imagine 179, those are so many people we are losing in this country. We've lost 175 people because of floods. Number two effect of uh, floods in Kenya Disruption of transport Yesterday we woke up uh, to a situation where the Stika Super Highway one of the biggest roads in Kenya was uh, disrupted transport along that road was disrupted at the Kahawa Sukari KU section areas like uh, Kasarani Mwiki, we have Madare, we have, uh, eh, well, how would you call it, uh, Choka, and so many other areas. So, the point here is that uh, transport is usually disrupted when uh, floods happen. And people cannot go about their business, people cannot go to work, people, some people will not open their businesses because of a uh, disruption in transport now floods will also cause you losses in terms of uh, property you can lose property because of floods we've seen people uh, get into losses because of uh, floods for example when the floods started i was uh, driving along the eastern viper there was a lot of water so when i arrived uh, where i'm staying uh, I noticed there was a change in my car uh, the steering wheel had become very stiff so I assumed that problem next day I was going somewhere and uh, my battery failed when I checked I realized that uh, my alternator had uh, died simply because uh, water some in some way water got into the alternator during the floods so when you see some cars have been uh, submerged in water there's an implication on that there's an implication uh, whereby you are likely to replace your car alternator and for me it costed me 10,000 Kenya shillings or a hundred dollars to replace uh, a new alternator for my car and this is all due to these floods so floods will affect you in many ways so we've talked about death, we've talked about disruption of transport. Uh, floods will also cause you stress. Hmm? stress will, in a, apart from stress, floods will cause you uh, anxiety. Right now there are so many people who are anxious in Kenya. They don't know what will happen tonight. They don't know where will, they will get food because of uh, what is happening uh, to their houses. Some people don't know where to sleep. Okay. In places where, like in Kahawa and Dani, where we've had uh, houses being submerged in water, people have been forced to vacate their houses. Okay, people have been uh, forced to vacate their houses so that they can move to safer places. When this happens, you experience a lot of stress, anxiety, and even depression. Okay, so there are so many implications about uh, this issue of uh, floods in Kenya. There are also social implications apart from the economic implications that we are seeing 
we have social implications where people are getting into relationship problems because of these floods. Another effect of, flo of floods in Kenya is that uh, floods affect uh, relationships. How? Oh, let me show you. It has flooded. Hmm? It, floods were experienced on uh, Monday. Maybe somebody went to work, a man went to work, a husband went to work. Hmm? When it became time for going back home, uh, the heavy rain started. Maybe the man was driving a car and he had to get out of the car when the water became too much. We've had cases where people were sleeping on top of trees, people were sleeping on rocks. I've seen a video where a man had to spend the night on top of a rock. And this is all because of lights. So such incident incidents can uh, lead to relationship problems. Okay? So get the point uh, very clearly. Floods can affect your relationship. From an entrepreneurship point of view, that's the last point I want to tell you about the effects of floods. Entrepreneurs have been affected adversely by this uh, flash of deadly floods that have been recorded in Kenya. Entrepreneurs have uh, experienced losses. Because of floods, a sector like uh, construction has uh, gone down. People are not, no longer building houses. Why? Because it is impossible to deliver materials. Inside it's like uh, Joska, Kamulu, uh, Ruiru, hmm? Kamakis. You can't deliver sand, you can't deliver cement, you can't deliver uh, the machine cut stones, the Darugo stones, huh? because the roads are impassable. Hmm? And that shows you how uh, floods can affect entrepreneurship. As a result of uh, these disruptions in transport, entrepreneurs are unable to service loans. People have had to put their lorries, their trucks. They are these people. Hmm? Kunawa entrepreneurs work on tippers. Za kubeba mchanga, za kubeba kokoto, kubeba mawe. Hawa watu walichukua loans. And they are paying loans to the tunes of 300,000 per month. Okay? How are they going to service their loans? Uh, when the rains are going are going on for around two weeks, you see, they will be they will get into so many problems because of the disruption. They are not able to service their loans because of the floods that are happening in Kenya. So understand this point: floods can have a very big impact on the society. Whether you are a business person, whether you are a student, whether you are a, an employee, whether you are a business person, floods can have a big impact on you. And there is something you can do about floods. You can start taking action. There is the responsibility of the government. You as an, as an individual, you can also take part in this uh, process of learning about floods. There is something you can do. The information that you've gained from this video can also be useful to prepare for floods in future. Understanding the effects of floods is a good starting point whereby you will learn uh, about the effects. You will start preparing so that uh, in future when such things happen, you are well prepared. For example, when floods happen and uh, you are likely to travel for vacation, you will be more informed. Okay? So thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.